Okay, it's Friday. Uh, these are my finds for today. Everything you see in front of you here represents $92 in spending to me. I'm kind of happy with my findings for today because everything was inexpensive or reasonably priced and I bought one thing that I can immediately use to pay for everything else. Uh, let me do games. People like games. I got what looks like a pretty clean PS2. This is at a church sale. Uh, it was left. Nobody bought it. I paid $12 for it. Uh, it's got some kind of wireless remote port it was in the bag but it was, it's complete um, it has what it has uh, I'm pretty confident it'll work uh, here's the rest of the games all bought at the same church sale which is Friday I got a Game Boy Color no back uh, with a Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 game which actually this doesn't even go in here alright I doubt that would have messed anything up anyway um, these games were a dollar I bought them most of them aren't worth much. Uh, Wii Sports Resorts, uh, Wii Fit. These are games I'll sell for three or four dollars. Wii Ski and Snowboarding, uh, Wii Play. Those are difficult to sell, not valuable, but I can use the case. But for a dollar, I really don't care. Um, these were also a dollar, these games. So I got Kingdom Hearts. This is probably the most valuable of all the games. Uh, SpongeBob, SquarePants, Battle for Bikini Bottoms, Tac 2. They're in, the games are in here. I don't know if they're complete. Arthur and the Invisibles, the game. I don't think that's a valuable game. And our Midnight Club, it's a racing game. Racing games are good for selling. Continuing on with games, I got a Nanko Museum DS game, which is probably the most valuable of the DS games I got. US Today Crossword. Sorry if I'm sniffling. I have allergies. Challenge. Mystery Case Files. Million Hair. Man, I don't know. I spelled that word. And Brain Age. Uh, again... Not really valuable games, but they were only a buck a piece, so who cares? Uh, done with the games. Moving on to uh, CDs. I got these two CDs, 50 cents a piece, um, two for a dollar. I think I'll um, I'll slap a five dollar sticker on this one and probably sell for four dollars. Um, the first sale I went to, the lady was selling stuff really expensive. We bought an assortment of things we're going to use, like these boots. These say these green leather boots, for example. They were a buck a pair. A buck a pair. Let me repeat that. There was a jacket she charges a buck for, a, do a dress, a dollar. There's some clean shoes and another pair of leather boots. A dollar a pair. I, I think I have probably about at least $200 in shoes and clothing here, at least, if I had to buy the stuff new. So this stuff we're going to use, uh, it's all a great value. If, I, if we decide we don't want to use it, we can easily get our money back and make profit. These records at the same house, the lady was selling 50 cents a piece. I picked through. I took the ones that had nice covers. Uh, as you can see, I got Beach Boys, Roy Orbison's, uh, Sly and the Family Stone, uh, Paul Simon. Um, I didn't see this cover's kind of messed up, but whatever. Johnny Cash, Folsom Prison. When I take these out, I think I'm going to say like $4, 2 for 7 3 for 10 Here's a Beatles revolver. I don't think it's worth that much. Hank Williams. Mamas and the Papas. You know, I took like 70s and then a little bit of country. Yeah, so I could see, you can see I got another Beatles. Uh, this is a thick one. This is Yes Songs. It looks to be one big fat album. Um, Abbey Road. And I took some Billy Joel's. The covers are pretty good. Cat Stevens, Chicago. Um, this doesn't look like it's open. I'm thinking maybe that, that might have value. Here's the Best of Bread. I think... Yeah, I got it in CD and uh, records today. Let me put this one to the side for a second. Those Muppet ones might have value. I've had stuff like that before. Okay, uh, continuing on. Uh, Frampton Comes Alive, America. Yes, uh, another uh, Johnny Cash, Hank Williams, Mad Madman Across, Elton John. Um, I never heard of that album, Madman Across the Water, Elton John. Purple Rain, Prince. Bruce Springsteen, uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders, and Chicago. So that, that, that's all the records I got today. But for 50 cents a piece, I cannot go wrong. Um, in terms of decorative stuff, for 75 cents, I got this nice big wood cat. Uh, it's got a little nick on the wood, on the nose and the wood. Uh, ears are okay. And it probably needs a little love, but still it's pretty cool, 75 cents. I'm probably going to put like a measly $12 on it. I'll take anything between $5 and $12. Um, this is just a nice tall Amberina vase. Most likely Viking Epic line. They wanted $10. I paid $10. It comes with free bugs on the inside. Ugh, I think it fell out. Okay. Uh, 
all the free bugs you want. This is a Lennox glass vase. It was marked uh, $3, so I took it and I'll put like 12 on it. Just sell it for whatever. Um, I, oh, here's a, at that church sale, here's like a, an old hand um, vibrator. I don't know the name on it. Uh, Viva Tone. Okay. I don't know what that's worth. It's I could probably get five to twelve at a flea market. I'll check it online. Got this neat uh, M and M's bag. I think I'm gonna put the records in there. I like those bags, and that one's cool because it's advertising. It was only fifty cents. Uh, the last sale we went to was an estate sale. Normally, I don't like estate sales. Um, they had a ton of stuff. Most of it's overpriced, and I'm like, who cares? I actually the first one of the first sales I went to today was an estate sale, and they had like a big uh, Higgins glass. I don't know if you know Higgins glass charger and they had 45 on it now in order for me to want to bother with um hey what's up doggy hey 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 your puppy hey puppy there's a dog coming in wanted to say hello hey your puppy hey your puppy hey your puppy all right let me just go through the jewelry quick i'll tell that story another time uh coral <laughs> cloisonne yeah yeah i know you're there i know you're there you're a good puppy um let's see these are pearl just an assortment of cufflinks these include like a wedgewood type and the doggy stopped to pet the dog. Um, these are hematite, pearl. Hey, what's up? Uh, this is silver, P.S. What's up, baby? What's up? Um, silver, uh, marcasite. This hematite. Uh, but this this is the best thing today. This this will pay for everything. Of course, it's all tangled in the hematite now. But this right here is a 14 karat gold necklace uh, that we did find. It does have some weight. It's got to be at least $100. Don't know for sure. We'll find out later. But that's it. That's everything we got today, tomorrow, Saturday. And if I'm lucky, it's going to rain, so I don't know. But if I'm lucky, I'll have a, as, at least as good a day as, the, as today.